already. Let's try this one again. Oh. Hiya, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> really dexter then. As you can probably tell, I'm outside. I'm not usually outside. So, what's happening in this video? You probably already know because you've seen the thumbnail. I'm doing a Coke and Mentos challenge. But, oh, it is chilly outside, isn't it? I need to keep warm. <laughs> I feel like Mary Boffins. <laughs> but yes, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're taking some time out for yourself, both mentally and physically. Very important to do so. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to go and click that subscribe button. And have you clicked the thumbs up yet? I bet you haven't. Go and click the thumbs up and that will be highly appreciated. So, nice one. So now I'm going to go to Morrison's just to get a few bits for the challenge because I can't just do it with, with nothing. Okay, so just been into Morrison's. As you can see, got a few bits and bobs. Got some Coke and some Mentos. So we're going to try and explode these. And it's the first time I've done it in my life. So we'll see how it goes. So now we're gonna to go to a location that's suitable to do it because in Morrison's car park, it's, it's not really ideal, is it? Okay, so this challenge that we're doing, this Mentos and Coke, it's a challenge that I wanted to do as a kid and a lot of my friends did it, but I never got around to doing it. So I thought, why not give it a go? It's a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, and it could either go really well or it could end really badly. So we'll have to see how it goes. So as you can see at the moment, what I'm currently doing is putting some Mentos along this sellotape strip. And we're gonna put this in a bottle of two litre Coke. I'm gonna see how that goes. So we've got our first line of Mentos all ready. Let's pop this down here. So pop that there and we'll pop the Mentos next to it. Okay, so currently at the location here, we're about to do the experiment of the Coke and Mentos. We're gonna see how it goes. It's the first time I've ever done it in my life, and I've seen a few clips of how people have done it. So, we've got some Mentos on a strip of sellotape. I'm gonna try and put the sellotape in, and dash the Mentos off. Then I need to kind of get away before it explodes. So this, this could either go very well or very wrong. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Let's let's see how it goes. Right, we're gonna get these in there real quick, real quick, real quick. And then, before it has a, has a chance to, to explode. Wait, no. Let's go, we're keeping this going. That's not the cup finished. Let's get the lid on. Come on, get the lid on. Right, I'm going to leave that there for one sec. I'm going to shake it in a minute. But before we do that, let's, <laughs> let's do the second one. So I'm going to shove these Mentos in very quickly. Right. Ready? Let's try this one again. Oh. <laughs> Obliterated. If I shake this again, if we shake it both together and see if we can. <laughs> Right, so let's give them a quick shake. Tell you what, let's put a couple more Mentos in this one. We can, we can see how, uh, if there's anything left in this one, that is. No, I, think that one's, I think this one's dead now. Yep, that one, that one, that one's done. We've still got a full bottle here, so let's, uh, Okay, so that was how it went. So as you can see, that's uh, I didn't have enough chance to get away. No time, enough time to get away. Can't even get any words out of that book the neck. That definitely woke me up. But here's a lesson for you. 
if you're doing some sort of science experiment for the first time, make sure you have it completely planned out. Okay, so I'm not giving up just yet. I'm gonna try this one more time. Hopefully I can get the lid on before it decides to explode. So we'll see how that goes. There we go. Let's hope this goes a little bit better than the second time. Right, we're putting the mentals in, we're putting the mentals in. We're gonna, we're gonna get the lid on, we're gonna get the lid on, we're gonna shake it, we're gonna shake it, and then we're gonna... Okay, so that there was a little bit anticlimactic with that final Coke bottle. It wasn't the best, but it was still an attempt anyway. I think we got the main gist of it, but a little science. Behind the science, as such, behind the experiment, the reason why this happens is because when we put the Mentors inside the Coke, that creates carbon dioxide bubbles, and then it kind of works as a chain react reaction. As the Mentors and Coke mix, which as I said, creates the bubbles and then eventually all that gas rises up and then knocks the lid off and we just bang all over the place. So it's definitely a chain reaction is the reason why it happens. There's the science part. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. But I reckon, I reckon you already have now, like, come on. I got covered in coke, you need to give it a thumbs up. But yes, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That would be highly appreciated. And also, before I end the video, I'd like you to comment down below if you have any suggestions for content as in terms of challenges. Yeah, any suggestions for challenges you'd like to see me attempt and give a try. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.